Well, Dr. Sunil, you know, one of the key issues um, which I was reading about in terms of statistics is also bad breath in India. That probably is linked to a lot of the factors that we've already spoken about. But what, one, what does one do about it? How can one actively treat it? The first thing you do, bad breath is called halitosis in technical terms. The first thing you do to prevent bad breath is to make sure that your mouth is clean. Mm -hmm. It's free of debris because when the bacteria break down food material and food particles, they cause putrefaction and odor. Mm -hmm. And that odor manifests as bad breath. You also can, you know, frequently, if one is eating at, at long intervals, one can have a few sips of water in between so that, you know, you are kind of uh, refreshing the oral environment and making it cleaner again so that, you know, it doesn't, the odors don't come out. Mm. Uh, you can do harmless things like put a clove in your mouth once uh, once in a while because, you know, if you go to Europe, there's coffee drinkers. Mm. Now, coffee itself, when you drink black coffee, it can give you bad breath. I mean, you know, it, it's not the kindest thing to deal with. Mm. So the simplest of things can can be used to, uh, to combat bad breath. And then there are hundreds of reasons. You can write a thesis on it like acidity in the stomach, can, you know, sinusitis, mm -hmm. and there are hundreds of reasons that can promote bad breath. But the principal, principal reason for bad breath is food deposition, microscopically and otherwise, in the mouth. But any kind of uh, foods which are helpful for bad breath and which should probably be avoided? So, all detergent foods, mm -hmm. when, you, when you say detergent foods, you're referring to an apple, mm -hmm. you're referring to celery, you're referring to anything that has fiber and is non-sticky. Basically, all detergent foods will cleanse the mouth okay. and help you combat bad breath. Anything that is sticky, be it, uh, you know, the known devils are things like sweets and candies and chocolates, right? Mm -hmm. The unknown devils are potato wafers, mm -hmm. cookies, mm -hmm. because they all have refined sugar as the end products that will stick in and around your teeth and gums. And eventually, if it's not cleaned meticulously, you will have bad breath. portfolio with real-time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18. Now streaming live 24-7 on YouTube. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.